Our world is increasingly going online. Sectors from entertainment to energy to education in functions from procurement to customer care. The more we depend on those networks, the more we depend on them to be secure. And activities in the cyber world increasingly have consequences in the real world. No wonder this issue is rapidly rising up the political priority list, and it's not going to go away. From online banking scams to the case of DigiNoter, we are all becoming more familiar with the range and scale of security risks, and the consequences of a single major incident could amount to hundreds of billions of euros. The EU needs to raise its game. As it stands, we are not prepared enough. We need to act, and fast. In February, Cecilia Malström, Catherine Ashström, and I, to myself, presented the EU cybersecurity strategy. For the very first time, outlining a comprehensive and coordinated EU vision for this field. This is not about preparing for cyber war. But equally, we need to learn the lessons of the financial crisis or terrorism. We can't wait, and we really can't wait for a major incident to happen before acting. That would be disruptive, destabilizing and expensive. We need to prepare, we need to invest, we need to prevent crises before they happen. And we need to treat this issue with the respect it deserves. Only then can we capture all the benefits of the digital world. There are five main strands to our strategy. First, we need a high level of cyber resilience. We need to be more prepared for threats, more aware of risks, more able to respond in public and private sectors at national and EU levels. Second, we need to drastically reduce cybercrime, something which costs hundreds of billions of euros a year, with member states working together with the European Cybercrime Centre. And third, we need an EU cyber defence policy and capabilities under our common security and defence policy. And fourth, we need to stimulate European industry and markets for secure ICT, using our digital single market to boost growth and security, including by investing in research and development. And fifth, we need an enhanced EU international cyberspace policy, working with international partners and promoting and defending European values online. Cybersecurity is a shared responsibility. We must work together. Threats do not respect national borders. They can jeopardize operations across our single market and beyond. And we are only as strong as the weakest link in the chain. So responding requires everyone to take up their duties across countries, companies and sectors. Working together does not mean centralizing. The EU can guide support and strengthen, but we cannot take over the responsibilities of companies or national authorities. And that is why our proposed directive on network and information security sets a common minimum level of national cyber capabilities, so that member states can work together inclusively, and so that those operating critical infrastructure properly manage their risks and notify authorities when there is a serious problem. This is a complex issue calling for a comprehensive response. I believe in an internet that is open and free, but without security there can be no freedom, not when you are walking down the street, not when you are transacting online. Achieving that goal needs the commitment and collaboration of all of you, and I hope I can count on your support.